So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and an update on the painting. Um, <laughs> I know I said I was a bit slower in the early part of this isolation phase that we're going through, um, but um, I've certainly sped up a fair bit um, and um, churning through the figures, which is great because it gets some of my pile of shame down. Um, because that pile of shame is much bigger than I've realized. Anyway, first up, uh, these are the first five of those uh, Steel Fist miniatures that I uh, showcased in part of my Salute Virtual Hall. Um, new manufacturer on me, uh, not familiar with them, but I just fell in love with these Renaissance uh, Knights from the Italian Wars. I um, uh, mentioned before I'm really fascinated by this period and it has encouraged me to do some more research into it. I used I read a fair bit years ago about it and uh, the antics of uh, Hawkwood and his uh, condotta band in northern Italy. Um, this period fits just after the, well, right after the end of the Hundred uh, Years' War uh, in France. And um, it's a very colourful period, very, uh, the, the, you're heading into the true Renaissance period, so you, the start of the land next, the um, pikemen, Swiss, Swiss pikemen and so forth, you've got English longbowmen, you've got muskets, you've got crossbows, you've got knights, you've got, you know, all sorts of uh, exciting things going on. It's a fascinating period. Um, these are my first five um, Renaissance foot knights. Uh, just, they're just awesome. I mean, just the modelling on them was just terrific. Uh, they're metal, um, and they. I've just tried to do them up as luxuriously as I possibly can. So, like this guy here, I've put sort of gold gilt on them. Um, I've also they're a bit sh they're deliberately shiny this time. I um, often this camera when I'm filming under this light makes the figures look a bit shinier than they actually look like. But these are fairly shiny, and that's because rather than using a matte spray varnish, which I usually use, I used um, a satin one, just to give it that little bit more shine that um, armor might have, uh, plate armor particularly. Um, so yeah, these guys obviously all two-handed weapon men. Um, I tried some different themes actually. Um, you can probably see, oops, spread these out a bit better. You can probably see this guy's got a sort of burnished, sort of a browny, goldy coloured armour. Um, and that's because I used just, I, I used different contrast paints, frankly. I used, um, what did I used Black Templar on a couple, on one I think on this set. There's more to come, you'll see in a bit. Um, what did I use? I can't remember. I think I used. Uh, Nasred yellow on that guy um, and also I used the main one I used was uh, Basilican grey um, as the base colour so I, I grey spray painted them all grey then used the base um, contrast paint um, because the, on the armour places anyway and then dry brushed them with um, a silver for the ones that were the darker colours and for the um, yeah I think I did and also for this guy as well with the the lighter sort of goldy colour I also dry brushed him um, with silver very very finely and then just built up some extra colours and then um, dry brushed again with I think just with a, a white uh, very very fine white on top uh, over the top of the um, the wash and it's it's come out really nicely um, I've taken a few liberties. I'm not sure whether this is quite accurate. Like this guy here, I've put, you can see his trousers coming through the back, uh, just to add a bit of color to it. Um, now I, I know some um, knight armor did have uncovered legs, um, particularly at the, the upper or back of the thigh, um, but um, I'm not sure whether these guys are actually, it did look like on the model that they, they were modeled that way. But I wasn't entirely sure, but I just thought it adds a bit of variety to them, makes them look cool. Um, this guy with his massive head headdress is just awesome. So there you go, that's the first five done. So these are the other five of the Steel Fist miniature Renaissance uh, Knights that I pick, picked up. And, um, you know, again, loving, loving them. I think they're just wonderful figures. I mean, this guy here, I mean, look at that armour. I've chosen to sort of gilt it. Um, so I think with this guy, 
Yeah, I think this was using the, um, it's difficult to tell now, but I think this was using the contrast paint, the Black Templar, as a base armour, and then uh, using a quite a heavy dry brush uh, of a gold over to on the raised areas just to get that effect. Um, this guy, I used a sort of more yellowy one and then dry brushed with silver. Again, quite like the effect. Um, as before with the other ones, I've used a satin varnish just to give a bit of a shine to the armour. I mean, they are plate armour after all. Um, and although they would have got a bit burnished and um, um, dirty and damaged in, in, in war, you know, these are knights, right? <laughs> so I've uh, I've chosen to use that. <clears throat> I may go back over some of the linen and stuff and just use a matte varnish on those just to dull those areas down because I don't mind the armour shining, but I don't really want the the surcoat or the skirt or what have you to be to be shining quite as much. So, um, but I'm really pleased with these. These are fantastic. My only issue is I. In, because I'm in skirmish figure mode production at the moment, um, I stuck them on 2p coins. And um, I'm now thinking, eesh, should I have based them for something like Hail Caesar and put them in a you know, 4x4, 40cm, 40 centimeter, 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter square piece or something like that that's going to be more useful for that? Oh well, never mind. I guess I can just group them up, right? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Done. Anyway, quite pleased with these. Um, and I will almost certainly, despite my figure mountain, buy some more Steel Fist um, Renaissance Cavalry. I think the Cavalry just look awesome, so I may well go back in and buy some of those. But then is done. And Operation Clear the Stash continues um, with a few more Germans. Uh, these are, well, the one, two, three, four, five, six here at the back, oh, coming round, uh, they're plastics, um, Warlord miniatures. Um, I think it was a sprue that was given away by War Games Illustrated. Um, it's been kicking around here forever, um, so I've just modelled them up. They're just early war um, Germans with uh, rifles because you always need plenty of those. And they're, they're nice enough models, just done them with a really simple paint job. I haven't got any of the, the um, um, uh, what do they call them, the emblems that go on the helmets in that early period, but, you know, it doesn't bother me particularly. They're, they're fine, and they'll join the massed ranks of Germans. Um, also here is, uh, this is a metal observer, and there's a metal medic. I think they're both warlord figures as well. Um, I bought a job lot a long time ago um, on eBay, um, assorted SS and Volstron figures, and they've sat in the bottom of a, a box for ages, and I just thought I'll start painting them. So um, I've, I've, you'll see in a bit the SS, um, the and this these two was also from that pack that box of uh, assorted figures. I will pr I've already got a medic. I've already got an observer, so I think I'll probably put these up on eBay. Uh, but they've come out nicely. They're nice models. Um, yeah, quite happy with how they've come. Just simple um, German field uniform, <laughs> normal stuff, and the effect's quite good. So that's them done. So these figures are definitely um, in the category of the back catalogue so to speak of ones that I've found in uh, in boxes um, these are a group of nine SS German Second World War bolt action fish figures um, they're warlord plastics um, actually they're really nice I came out beautifully I'm really quite pleased I'm quite proud of myself with these if I'm honest um, I'm not going to claim that the camo is absolutely perfect because I'm not that much of a of a gnaws in terms of getting it absolutely 100% but they look good uh, and that's my what I try to achieve out of all my figures I think that they look good from three foot that's what I'm looking for um, these were a box of um, Volstrom and um, SS that I picked up on eBay a year ago maybe a year and a half ago when I first started getting back into the hobby and was interested in bolt action 
Um, I found putting together figures an absolute nightmare. Um, these plastics, just to me, I've got a bit better at it now because practice. Um, but um, I bought some uh, some that I saw on eBay that were cheap, already made up, and I thought, right, jobs are good. And and these were those. Uh, well, these were some of those. There's a few more. Um, but um, finally got them out of the box, dusted them down, literally, um, and got them painted. I'm quite pleased with the outcome. Um, so there's nine of them here, mainly assault rifles. There's a couple of SMG guys there. There's one rifleman. Um, they're nice, nice modellings. I, I do like them. I think they've come out uh, quite nicely. They take the paint really well. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I basically made up the camera as I went, um, looking at the pictures online and um, tried to sort of get this, a similar effect. Um, and I think it sort of works. So they're done. You can join the cabinet full of Germans. And next from the backlog pile, um, I finished off these 13 Volstrom German Second World War figures. Um, this was part of the group with the SS I bought um, online on eBay. Um, some time ago when I was thinking about starting up doing a bolt action German army and I was getting annoyed with making up the models I just bought uh, somebody was selling some off um, actually cheaper than the plastic would you believe already made up um, already constructed it on the little bases already so I had them um, can't remember how much they cost me but they weren't as I say they were cheaper than the, 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 the buying the plastic box set um, so as you saw, I finished the SS, and now these are the Volstrom done as well. Mixture of um, camo figures, some in standard uniforms, and some with these big overcoats on. Um, and I'm quite pleased with how they've come out. The only thing I'm, I kicked myself, I was in a sort of production line when I was doing these. I should have used Luke's APS City um, base material, um, but I just was in that production line, just churning them out and did them and then before I realised I'd done them all I thought oh damn and I wasn't going to chip it all off again so um, they're nice figures and and they'll be fine like that I'm quite happy they'll sit in the collection um, they'll go with those new um, well I'll, I'll, I'll paint up at some point those new offensive miniature Volstrom figures and mix them in with it which will give me a nice couple of uh, well probably two or three platoons um, of mixed bag of you know sort of uh, older looking figures in more civilian clothes than these ones who have actually got you know fairly decent equipment so uh, yeah quite pleased with how this has turned out and um, get them off the backlog so next up uh, another group of uh, two four six eight ten um, of the footsaw Andy Hobdale Baron Wars uh, medieval figures uh, I think these are the last ten um, yeah, I think these are the last 10 of the foot um, troops, so the regular Joes uh, that I've painted up. Um, so that, that that's nice to have a nice bunch of them, and, and I am going to try out the uh, Lion Rampant rules, I think, to, to test them out. I think doing that video, looking at my backlog of figures, I realised I've still got... Yeah, quite a large number of medievals that are based up as close formation troops so what I think I'm going to do is just rebase them um, and touch them up a bit get them nice and um, you know, looking better than they do now because they've been sitting in the garage in storage for quite a long time um, and use those for maybe something like Hell Caesar um, or maybe Impetus or something, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what rule set I'll use, but something that uses close, you know, large blocks of infantry and then use these footsaw ones for line, rampant or more sort of skirmish based rule sets and, and see how we go. So that's the theory. Um, I think with all the footsaw figures and there's a new Kickstarter starting up uh, at the end of the month, I think. Um, with another load of different uh, types of figures i think um with those um i should have enough to to basically field two armies um for for a line rampant so when the club restarts if nobody else has got any figures i can always bring mine along and play both commands um so that, that'll be good but again <clears throat> really pleased with the sculpts of these models, particularly the armoured guys. I think look really, really good. Love this guy with his axe. Oops, with his axe on the back. Uh, I think that's a really nice figure. Um, 
the same frustration though with drilling out hands I just found it almost impossible I have got a new drill bit um, some much thinner ones with I think they're actually tungsten because somebody suggested that might help so the next ones I do I'll try them out and hopefully the hands will um, not snap off um, as they did with another one of these um, but anyway whatever but they're nice figures and I'm pleased to get them done so tick them off the back pile. So I've also continued to work through my um, Nick Starter figures for the um, Muskets and Tomahawks version 2 rule set. Uh, as you remember, I, if you've watched some of the videos, I bought the British uh, force to go for the Indian Wars command. And you got um, some campaign, uh, regulars in campaign wear, which I've already painted up. Also um, 18... Uh, Rangers. So I've just done the first six here. Um, used the basically the sort of the 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 outfits that they're using on their website. Always a good tip. Check out the uh, the painting gallery uh, that most manufacturers have of their models, and follow those. Um, which I thought were, they were quite nice um, how they'd done them. So I tried to follow that green green coats, green breeches, long leggings basically, and then some of these guys have um, red. Uh, bandoleros and also turnbacks on some of them so there's the six regular dudes here and then the um, officer um, here in front uh, I'm quite pleased how they come out they're they're um, um, yeah nice they're fairly chunky models um, I think I mentioned that with the campaign guys um, they're, they're chunky models but they paint up really nicely indeed so I'm quite pleased with how they've come out so that's them finished. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope everything's going well for you all. And I will see you again soon. This is Dom signing out.